The Neil Squire Society is an incredible nonprofit organization that uses technology to change lives. And their latest initiative, Makers Making Change, definitely fits that bill. I'd say so. LipSync is a device that's so simple, affordable, and brilliant, it puts computers and smartphones in the reach of users who have difficulty holding and operating them with their hands. And not to mention a brilliant product name. To find out just how cool the lip sync is, Vancouver's Grant Hardy met up with one of the users of the technology to learn more about the program. Technology is a very big part of my life now as I use it as a form of mobile or connect people or even finish my education or my future career. For Omar Al-Azawi, access to mobile devices is not something he takes for granted. After a neck injury, Omar lost mobility in all his limbs and using technology became especially challenging. It was always there's a question, how I will control a laptop? Or like example, a cell phone. But then Omar was introduced to the lip sync, a device that just about changed everything. Now it's opening my opportunity to get more and more like involved with education actually. So when I got it, the first thing I did, I did exam actually <laughs> in BCIT. The lip sync is the brainchild of Makers Making Change, an initiative of the Neil Squire Society. Harry Liu is manager of research and development. So the, the lip sync really allows a person that can't use their hands and their arms to control a mobile device, a tablet, or a PC. So the way they do that is that they actually grip a joystick-like device in their mouth and then by moving their head side to side or up and down, they can actually move the cursor on the screen. So it's similar to how you would use a mouse on a, a PC. The lip sync is specially designed so that any hobbyist or maker can follow the step-by-step -step instructions, buy the off-the-shelf electrical components, and put it all together in a 3D printed housing. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Burnaby South High School uh, makers Making Change build -thon. I'd like to welcome everyone here today. To help with production, Makers Making Change hosts build -a -thons, where volunteers can assemble lip sync devices. So the build-a-thon that we're having today, we're actually using high school students to actually build it. I'm just going to take this apart yeah. just to show how this goes in. They'll do soldering, they'll do programming of the actual microcontroller boards that we've got and they'll actually assemble the device itself. Uh, no, all of me, I mean, it's already, we got this already. Perfect. My name is Sam, I'm in, I am 17, I am currently in grade 11. I want to be able to have the same freedom that we do, because you know, we can use our phones, our computer, our tablet. So I feel like that everyone should have, at some degree, a chance to be able to use it freely without being restricted. I play a lot of video games, and I've seen like streamers online where some doesn't even have like hands, like physically doesn't even have hands, but yet they still play and still really, really good. Just that they need the right gear. I agree, I find it, it's quite rewarding knowing that these lip sync devices are going to go into hands of uh, people that have disabilities and it will make their lives a lot better. So. Teacher Eddie Wong helped organize the Build-A-Thon. We always try and tell students that uh, to make a big difference in their community. And here is one direct way of being able to do that. The other aspect would also be the fact that uh, it gives students a sense of accomplishment and reward where what they're learning in school translates into you know, something that they can do and they can take satisfaction. Ultimately, a device like the lip sync makes the impossible possible for Omar and others. After lip sync, I'm now actually get more encouraged to apply for full-time program. For me, being independent, it was like my highest goal. And I achieve it with that device. I'm really excited about the example Makers Making Change is setting here. Often, adaptive technology is so expensive, it's out of the reach of many or it's so commercialized that it's difficult to give feedback and have your voice heard. Lip sync is the complete opposite. Yeah, and since it's gonna be open sourced, any hobbyist can build a lip sync themselves and it can be used as a tool for students to educate themselves while building something cool and making a difference. That's right, just like in this story. I know it's something my kids would love to do, learning something new and helping someone, it's a win-win. To get more information, please check out makersmakingchange.com.